Welcome back to the Hometown Health Series, where we are interested in perspectives and innovations in community healthcare. Uh, today, I wanted to highlight a subject around premature death and some of the, the underlying factors to it, not actually the diseases and the reason for the cause, but what was underlying, the underlying factor to that. Um, I can tell you, anytime I talk to nine out of 10 people, eight out of 10 people, um, even individuals in the healthcare realm, when I ask them, what is wrong with healthcare? What do, how do we need to fix it? How do we need to transform it to get a better outcome? They tell me one or two things usually. They tell me about access to care. We got to, we have access to care. We have a two tiered system of healthcare. You know, you have the, you know, a certain population of, of, of richer, I guess, higher income individuals are able to get a certain kind of healthcare and others are able to get a different kind of healthcare um, or around cost. Um, they're kind of intertwined, right? Access and cost. The cost is really high. We got to change that. Um, what's interesting with that discussion when you look at premature deaths in this, in this country? Um, and why there are premature deaths. You know, we're not meeting the full lifetime expectancy averages or, or getting near that. So why are we having premature deaths? If you look at that, 10%, 10% is related to healthcare, just 10%. So that's a, that's a low, it's a very, very low percentage. And, and I attribute that to, to, um, to healthcare access, right? It's the actual healthcare bucket. It's 10% in what we do in healthcare. Now we're spending over three and a half trillion dollars, three and a half trillion, I referenced that before, three and a half trillion dollars in healthcare every single year. Um, but for premature deaths, 10% is to healthcare access. Now this is a widely publicized graph that has been widely distributed around Department of Public Health across the country. I've seen it, I've just seen it very, very common. Um, so what you do see is things like, the number one is behavioral patterns, 40% of the causes, behavioral patterns, 15% social circumstances, 5% um, um, around em environmental exposures. And you have the big, another big chunk of 30% around genetic predispositions. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is gonna be around different mutations um, that happen and um, you're gonna be more susceptible to disease or more preconditioned, genetic preconditions. Um, to disease. So that means that you have to, if you're just doing things all the same, the behavioral pattern changes are not going to be equal or something like that. Um, you're highly susceptible. So with that, only 10%. It, 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 I think that's amazing. So are we spending our time as a healthcare industry, our dollars is 20% of GDP? Are we spending it in the right area? Um, you know, how do we get on top of the behavioral patterns? How do we get on top of these social circumstances, these environmental issues? You know, how do we um, work at a higher level with the genetic predispositions? I think that's not, not that's, the resources aren't being given there. I think that's, that's part of the problem there. You know, my perspective is only, well, anyway, I'll tell you a little bit of story about myself. I was highly addicted to, um, to soft drinks. I drank Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, all those things as a kid. I drank them in excess. It was very hard to come off of that. I'm a recovering soda holic. I haven't drank one in, in probably close to 10 years, probably eight years. And it's been a phenomenal, but it was not easy. And so these addictions that we have, these behavioral problems, I think all behaviors, all habits, they're, they're addiction to some kind. They have us in a sense. We don't have them. Um, that requires some intervention. That requires some high level intervention. It's not going to be going to a doctor and spending 15 minutes with them. It's going to be having some true counseling, and I call those lifestyle coaches. You know, it could be called a health coach or something, but it's someone that's really engaging with you and someone that's really driving you forward. So that, that really is gonna help with the behavioral patterns, but you also have to have somebody doing true environmental scans, true root cause analysis of the whole picture. That's the holistic healthcare. We have to have holistic integrated healthcare. And, I, and right now the dollars aren't there. The resources aren't there. We have to move in that direction. That's what we're looking to do. So I thought that would be interesting for you to, to hear, you know, the access and cost of healthcare is only cause of 10% of premature death. There's all kinds of other things out there. There's just one sub, just one piece of it. But, uh, but I always, I thought that was interesting. I was surprised by that statistic when I first saw it. So I thought uh, you might be as well. Uh, with that, uh, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to talking to you again soon.